All right, so got this wireless internet control module for my Pioneer Mini Split, and I called to figure out where to install it because I couldn't find any videos. Um, and they said it's um, you have to take off the whole cover. So there's a the cover here, and you can prop it up with this here. Um, but you have to take the whole thing off because it's going to mount right there and the wires go back in there. So, you, so not just the front, the, the hood, you have to take off the whole, the whole plastic thing off. So there are, how you do that? There's my unit, I have a 24,000 BTU. So there's five, sorry, four screws here. And then you can see there's a little um, compartment there, or a little, little flap. So there, and it's four of them as well, there. So you have to take these, so I'll show you that too, how to take these off. So you unscrew those four screws, the f screws on the top, and then there's a um, latching mechanism basically on the, on the back, and that's kind of complicated, but once you do it, then it's it's um, it's not too bad. And of course, you're gonna have to take off your power plate, so make sure you turn off the power to your units before you start touching anything with live wires. All right, I'm gonna set some things down, and then I'll show you how to take this out. I'm on my handy dandy lift, which is awesome. Okay, so if you look in these flaps, they're the on the middle pieces. There are these little tabs that you can pull. I'll show you like that, right? Just slide all three of them and you see that that piece comes out of there and then there's a piece at, the, at both ends. And this one, it matters which one goes on top when you reinstall this. So this one has a little hook. So you just bend it. Of course, I'm doing this with my hands. So a little flex it, you know, pull one side out and then the other one will come out fairly easily. So I'm just going to set that down, do the same thing with this other one, pop, pop, and you see it's already flexing, so just, just like that, pull it out the other side. Now the other one of these that I did was, um, I did it on the ground, so I did, forgot to, um, to do, to install it before. I, uh, to install the wireless module before I installed the whole thing on the wall. So another thing that I figured out is that you want to take out the filters um, because the cooling element inside will um, is very very fragile and they can bend easily. So you don't really want to bend those. So just pull those out by lifting up and then pull them down, just like that, super easy. And these are washable filters, so awesome. No replacing, and this, of course they go over the top. So I'm gonna unscrew these. You don't need to watch that, but just Phillips head. Okay, unscrewed these four screws on the front, and then um, here are the flaps. They just kind of snap closed. And there, like I said, four more screws under there that those need to come out. Also, before you try to take off the cover, this um, the screen, the display screen, needs to be unscrew that and then pop all these wires through so that they're just kind of hanging loose because whenever the, the whole cover comes off, you don't want to have to try to unscrew those at the same time. Okay. Okay, so I got this unscrewed, it's just dangling here. Like I said, here's the display. Uh, I forgot to mention that there's a cover here, just like that comes off there's one screw um, right here Phillips head and it just pops off nice and easy so of course you, you would know that because um, your power is coming up from there clamps in there and this covers this you don't need to take this cover off um, yet so these two wires are just loose right there uh, now for the fun part so there are several places that it kind of clips in um, the this is
probably the worst part of, of taking this cover off because there's clips up top um, and then back here it's just a hot mess like some some of the pieces have to go up some have to go down so it's not fun <laughs> but um, you just kind of mess with it a little bit and, and it'll come here's the top of the unit so there, there's tabs here 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 and here and there that need to get kind of popped off and like I said they go different ways like um, there's also some here on these mounds and those go down or you know towards the wall these come um, let's see no let's see those go up oh sorry this part comes away from the wall like that and this one goes down and this one goes down too but this gets kind of it's like a cleat kind of holds in there so it's like I said it's pain in the butt I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed um, so you can kind of see me go through this and push this down. I'm gonna kind of fight with this for a little bit and come back. Okay, so I finally got it. These, this whole thing comes out. Like I said, these hold it, hold this against the wall, and then there's a piece in here that gets pushed down. It's a pain in the butt, but if you wiggle around. Make sure you pull it and all that stuff, um, then you will be fine. And now we're so um, you can see. I mean, I haven't done anything, um, but it's you know this is how fragile it is. They bend super easy, so you don't really want them to bend. Um, but they're probably already bent from installation of this, the top of this too. Okay, so gonna open this front back up. Should really have a mount or something. So I'm just sliding this forward. Here we are so far. And then press this on my lift. Pull these out. And then we're just gonna set this whole cap this whole top cover to the side. Oh, and I forgot to show you what this module looks like. Very simple. I, I haven't used them yet, but you just, like I said, this screws in the top, and then there's a little clamp here, and I'll show you where that is. So everything you're looking for now is in this box. Like I said, make sure that your power is off. Mine isn't even hooked up yet. Um, so we're good, but make sure to turn the breaker off, the shut off outside, and, um, and we're gonna unscrew these two, uh, sorry, just this one screw, and that'll take this cover off, and then this second cover will be loose. I unscrewed that screw. This just comes right off. Actually, probably both of them come. All right, and we'll set these down. Of course, making sure that you're not losing any parts. So this is where it gets a little fun. Um, if you're concerned about this coming back to how it's supposed to, take a picture or a video before, um, but, and you can kind of refer to this, but the antenna and the display come out of the top here along with some grounds and whatever that is. Um, and then out of the bottom, more control stuff. But you're, you're, we're basically gonna go put the connector for this module right behind this bottom one. So it doesn't have to come out all the way. Um, I ended up taking it out because I had no idea where it was on the other unit. But this just slides out a little bit. And um, let's see, you can see it right there. Let's zoom in on it. So right here my hands touching and so you'll just get your unit plug that in it's good to have two hands of course fat fingering this whole thing <laughs> okay just put on one more Ooh. 
course you want to do your best not to bend the tines in there. All right, it clicks. Give it a test tug, nothing crazy. Um, and then you'll just shove this back in, gently letting the wires go. And then I wrap this around the top because they're, they're coming out of the same area. You just kind of push it down there. Right. And then we're going to install the, the two covers and then make sure all that's kind of in one spot. Okay, got the cover on. You can still see every all the loose wires are dangling here. The antenna, the Wi-Fi um, dongle, and the display. So whenever we put the cover back on, you make sure that you feed it through the back. Oh, you can't see it here. Feed it through this before this. you put screws on, of course. So, once again, it's great to have two hands, but I really need three for this. So, feeding these through and then sliding the cover back on and I'll show you kind of how it clips in. Okay, so I have my antenna on the right and Wi-Fi and then display coming through that front little panel. I'm going to work this to go back on. It's an exact art, as they say. Okay. So you can see all the pieces back there, how they kind of fit in together. All right, kind of moving them back and forth so you see. All right, get a little higher so get a better view on this. Alright, so I'll start with this one, try to. So this one goes down into that, and then you push back, and then these two hold that in. Ugh, difficult. Alright, got that in, just, you have to just gotta push it hard, then these Hold it there, so I'm going to push this end as well. Sit you down for a second. Okay, so that was just a little push, but can't hold the camera too. And so push this in, just like that. So all of them kind of work like that. Make sure that the tops are in, so so that one holds it in. So if you pull anything and it's moving, it shouldn't move much. You'll just double check the bottom. Everything's kind of lined up, good. Check your screw holes. And I'm gonna put those screws back in up here. The top set of four and the bottom set of four and then I wanna close these again. All right, and then I'm going to reinstall the filters. Just slide them right up there. Goes in. Somehow easier said than done. There. Same thing with the other. Filters installed. Now I'm going to do the covers. All right. So that it does matter how these go back, of course. So this, if you look, there's a, a dull curve and a sharp. Point. So that dull curve is going to fit right there. So push that in there. And then I'll, same thing on the other side. Woo. Don't know why I'm trying to do this with one hand. Okay, so here we are. And then these just, like I said, just clip back in. Just line it up. Done. We'll do that same thing with the other one, and this one is different, and it goes into that half moon slot thing. Like that. All 
All right, now we're gonna feed these wires back up in here. Might be useful to have like a flat head and it's not, you know, super pointy to kind of get these wires to do what you want. Thank you for not checking out my serial number. All right, and this, there's not a lot of extra wire on this Wi-Fi and it didn't come with a screw for whatever reason, but I have one that works and it's gonna go in just like the um, the display, just like that, and you put a screw in there. So I'll do that now, and then we can readjust those. Okay, so I got the Wi-Fi dongle, whatever it's called, um, screwed in. It goes down there, and I'm holding it more open than usual, so it kind of there's plenty of room on it on the wire. But after I'm done with this video, I'm, I'm gonna tuck this wire there, see how it, it rests a little, a little better with, um, if I'm not extending the top. So then I, it's a lot of extra wire for the display, so I kinda loop that around, and then I'm gonna cover this up, put in the screw, and then we're done. All right, there we are. It's buried in there, and I have yet to, to try to turn it on and get get it all connected to the internet um, but you know like I said I don't have power to it anyway yet so um, so there we are and th these will close up after you turn it on and everything they'll, they'll kind of realign um, uh, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching